Today I'm doing a review on the Romo Mic Light. Hi, Taylor here, Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. This is the Romo Mic Light. Uh, for an iPhone and inside of the box we have our receiver and as you can see it has actually a little safety piece here so you can keep your connections nice and clean pop that back on there we'll see how long that actually stays in existence we have our microphone here and as you can see there's a little built-in clip so that way you can clip it onto your shirt on the sides we have our on off switch as well as a mute button and we have the controls to up and turn up and turn down the microphone at the very top that is our microphone there is a dead cat on there so if you're going to be in windy situations you can pop this dead cat onto here i don't really appreciate this really long flap that's attached to it but at least uh you know you have a nice fuzzy looking dead cat here then we also of course have our charger so you can plug in and charge your devices and it comes with a nice little bag to keep everything nice and tidy. So you're gonna take a listen to some control footage from the iPhone, as well as some test footage, and then I will give you a recap. Okay, here's some test footage utilizing the microphone. I'm in my backyard, I have my chickens going on, I have the birds in the trees, so we'll hear how that sounds. It is a little bit on the bulky side, but um, we'll see how it sounds. Now I'm gonna go ahead, even though it's not that windy today, there's still a little bit of wind in the breeze. We'll see what it sounds like with the dead cat added to it. Now we have the dead cat added to the microphone. Um, it is very fuzzy, a very big bulky dead cat. So it'd be interesting to see how I could hide it amongst my clothes. Um, I, I'm not in love with the large tag that's on there, but it's going to uh, hopefully reduce some of the wind noise that would be coming through. And here is our control footage just using the onboard microphone that is on the iPhone. And we'll be able to compare and see how much better is it adding that external microphone. And here is a test being about 10 feet away from the camera. So that way we can see how the distance is with the microphone. And now a control test being about 10 feet away from the onboard microphone, only using the onboard microphone on the iPhone. After reviewing my footage that I captured with the Remo Mic Lite on the iPhone, I'm very impressed. For a microphone less than $100, it had a really great sound, had really good suppression, and I'm just overall impressed. The one thing you do need to keep in mind though, when you are pairing these, is there's these two little IR sensors, both on the microphone and on the receiver. You basically need to have these two sensors touching each other, then press pair, and then it will connect. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure that out, but once I did it, it worked beautifully and it was super easy to use. And, and as you heard, it sounds great. So if you have any questions about this microphone or if you're looking for a microphone for your iPhone, I would definitely consider this Remo Mic Lite.